Hello, welcome. In this tutorial, we will check what is effective date for voucher in Tally ERP9. This is an option inside voucher type creation screen. Let's go there from the gateway of Tally accounts info voucher type alter and select sales voucher type and move the cursor to use effective dates for vouchers this is the subject for our tutorial today I will give you an idea about this option with an infographics on 1st April 2015 we sold rice for rupees 5000 to Mustafa traders party was given a credit period for 10 days but party knows the delivery will be delayed for one day and he asked for an extended credit days 11 days but we built on 1st April 2015 this becomes one of the reason for choosing effective date instead of giving 11 days credit period we are setting the effective date for the transaction to the 2nd April 2015 this effective date applicable only in AGY's report this will not reflect in accounts part like ledger, sales register, etc. In ledger and sales register, the date will remain 1st April 2015. Since we have chose effective date 2nd April 2015 while invoicing, the new due date will become 13th 4 2015. Now let's do this in tally. Come back to gateway of tally. Coming from the beginning, accounts info voucher type and alter select sales voucher type and move the cursor to use effective dates for vouchers set this to yes and save the screen now come back the second stage is the entry of transaction that we have sold a rise to Mustafa traders so first step is uh, setting the date effective date and invoice date for that click on F2 button or press F2 from your keyboard now we are in voucher date entry screen the date of voucher is 1st April 2015 that is the invoice date and effective date is 2nd April 2015 that is the delivery date now party name is Mustafa traders and uh, rice is the commodity 100 kg 50 per kg and 5000 is the total amount and you can see at the top right uh, there are two dates 1st April 2015 is the invoice date and effective date is 2nd April 2015 now save the screen let's check how this will affect in our accounts book and our reporting system first we have to check outstanding report statement of accounts outstanding and receivables select the period since I am using tally educational version I can enter only next date will be first May 2015 the total overdue days become 19 because current date is first May 2015 you can check on the date here and it is 2nd April this date will reflect in this report only and let's check how this effect in accounts book ledger Mustafa and you can see the date is 1st April 2015 and in sales register also you can see the same date 1st April 2015 so the effective date for vouchers will not uh, affect in accounts book and it will affect in outstanding reports only hope you understand thanks for watching bye